Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today covering today two major topics guys. One charging your LFP battery with the Model 3 standard in China just got so much more powerful. We will look into that and we will look into some major updates from Giga Berlin. If you do enjoy my channel, it is free of charge. Just consider subscribing. It really helps me out and I hope you stay tuned for the next videos in the coming weeks. So we will start with Giga Berlin. So first of all, the application was sent to the government as we all know, and just the introduction was 33 pages. And the entire document is a few thousand pages. So just that you have like an imagination how much is actually going on there and how much paper Tesla sent them. I'm just trying to give you some um, kind of a perspective what the most important numbers are here. And I might have to do that in more videos and not just one. So the major part is here. Tesla wanted to achieve a, um, 250 gigawatt hours of battery cell production at some point, which would be the biggest battery production in the world. But the first stage was supposed to be 100 gigawatt hour. So now they reduce that by half to 50 gigawatt hour. This is not bad news because 50 gigawatt hour can still make batteries for a million cars. The funny part is in the documents, Tesla is still expecting 500,000 cars. Why are they not moving up? I have no idea. It might just be the reason that they don't want to have any more issues. They just want to start producing cars. Furthermore, the entire land, so what you are seeing always when you watch my videos, is so big that Tesla can still further expand production of cars, further expand production of battery cell. So there is a lot of space to further grow. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Furthermore, there will be a big party place on the roof at the entrance here. Um, if I'm right, um, I'm not sure where they will put it, but I think it will be on the front side here. There will be a bar and party place on top, um, like a rooftop bar, etc. So that will be really cool. Um, furthermore, there will be a appointment with the government on the uh, 11th or 14th of September. It's not pretty clear yet. And what will happen is that till then, till September, all of those people that think that everything is wrong with Tesla here have the opportunity to go against Tesla. And once this hearing is happening in September, the only thing that can stop Tesla would be any kind of lawsuits that the government has to wait for. But after that, everything should go according to plan if now no major issues are happening. Furthermore, the papers show that Tesla is pushing for a year end production and is saying that Germany must have an interest in doing that as Tesla is um, lowering the CO2 emissions with every car going onto the street. So this is some good news here, guys. Um, I must honestly say the battery production here is the key factor that is all going on because we do know that Tesla was not planning to go forward with that that fast, but they are trying to do that right now. So um, looking into that, they will further make the production really, really water efficient. So they will use like a dry production process that will have less energy used and less water, which is uh, like the major thing that was going on at Giga Berlin. For the second topic, guys, I have some more exciting news for all those in Europe, um, but as well, good information for those in the United States. Look at the 87% charged and look at the kilowatt of 92. This has never been seen before. And it's not a fake picture. It is coming from a German um, Model 3 standard owner that charged actually not at the supercharger station, but charged at the EMBW, uh, EMBW um, charger station from an uh, electricity company and he experienced that 92 kilowatt um, power. So this is some major stuff guys because usually when you charge your Tesla, but please do me, let me know if it's in the United States or anywhere in any other country different, please let me know in the comment section. Usually the way is going like that. The model long range is going up to 80% charge, is starting with 250 kilowatt, 
and after 20 percent it is going down and down and down and when the uh, battery is full by 80 percent it is going down to 50 kilowatt and this is like when you use your phone the last 5 10 15 percent are always taking much longer as the first 50 60 percent for the model 3 standard that we just looked at they is starting norm normally at 170 kilowatt and it was not seen before that at 87 percent the power that was the char what the charging was happening at that point was 92 kilowatt hours as i'm working with the german um, newspaper um, together like the tesla mac it's called um, they always have some great information here and they got this information because i'm doing their own um, youtube channel in the german um, country as well so um, i do have this en information not from anywhere i got it because some german owner told um, tesla mac about that so tesla mac actually sent um, so sent like um, more information to more model 3 owners in germany and some others tried that too and the thing what happened here is that the other model 3 owners didn't experience that big of a spike so what we do see here is what i personally think is that tesla is really testing a few cars to get some data to get some information how the battery is reacting um, when you push for so much um, power at the end of charging what is really exciting if they do manage that without any damage to the car with the lfp batteries then we maybe could see that with the new battery cells as well that tesla is starting to produce at austin very soon and at giga berlin so that could mean that we are close to a new stage of charging if the batteries can handle it if these lfp batteries can handle such a power at the end of the charging process this could mean that the charging itself could be so much faster as ever before and this would allow tesla to move forward and have much more time saved when it comes to charging and we do know that the new model as plat is, is it's pretty much the same we do have really fast charging time so it might be that we get some more major updates in the coming month if this is really just a test please let me know what your thought about this is because i really care to know what's happening in other countries outside of germany and especially as well in the united states market so please let me know i hope you did enjoy my video today and i wish you all a wonderful weekend so take care guys and i hope to see you back very soon here on tesla news Thank you very much.